Hey to YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is going to be a review and demonstration on the Anest Iwata LPH-80 mini spray gun. I've actually done an unboxing video and that's on my RAW channel. So if you'd like to see what you get when you unbox this gun, be sure to go over and check that out. That's why I've decided not to include any unboxing footage in this video. So as you probably just saw, I've got the 1.2mm setup on this gun, but there is a few other options to go with. So you've got the 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0 and 1.2mm fluid tip setups if you would uh, like to go with a slightly smaller size. So you get a couple of different pot options. You can get the 70mm or the 250mm uh, reusable cleanable plastic pot or you can actually get the kit that comes with both of them and that's the one that I got. So as you can see here, this gun is absolutely minimal air consumption and you may have noticed that the, uh, that the size of this air cap is absolutely tiny. If you put this gun up against most of the other mini guns on the market, the air cap is about half the size so you're going to be getting a lot less air and a bit less fluid coming out. If they made it much smaller it would just about be an airbrush. It really is that fine and atomizes is the paint so fine. It's ideal for doing little spot repairs and I'll be showing you where it really shines later on in this video. It is just a short video but I'll just be taking you through a couple of spot repairs. So this is one on the rear bumper bar. I think I'm going to have to eat a bit of humble pie and tell you guys that I finished painting this job and I drove it outside of the booth and I accidentally scraped a masking machine and I actually put that scratch in this rear bumper bar. It was literally a really fast spot repair, smart repair. I just had to go, well, you know what? I've got to whack that car back in the booth. I've got to fix that. And it turns out that the boss didn't even find out about it. I didn't make a big deal about it. If he had have asked, I would have said, yeah, whatever. I just scratched the rear bumper bar. But um, yeah, that's what I was joking around with the, the my, one of my workmates. He goes, oh man, did you see that scratch you put in the bar? I said, uh, no, no, I didn't see it. And then, because I was looking at the back, because I know I hit something. I was looking at the back and it actually scraped down the side of that bumper. I said, oh shit. Um, you know, the funny thing about that is I'm just going to go, um, I'm going to try and make it so the boss doesn't know, but I'm probably going to go and get around 10,000 views on YouTube, so I'll show the rest of the world. But um, it's all good. The main thing is that it went out and it looked all good. So this little spot repair here only took me about 25 minutes. It literally was just a really quick, you know, put a bit of fine fill in it, bit of 1K primer on it, quick mask up, prep sole down and uh, spray a couple of, uh, I had just enough paint as it turned out to do that little spot repair, mixed up a tiny, there was actually a tiny little bit of clear sitting on the bench, put a bit of the uh, rocket additive in with it, which just makes the clear go off really fast. And as you can see here, I'm not waiting in between coats of clear, I just put a very thin closed coat down first and then straight away put another slightly wetter coat down. I'll be putting a little bit of fade out thinners, so AK350 over the edge of that clear blend and then that starts go out, hit bake, give it a 10 minute bake because I put that rocket in it. But there really is something quite elegant about this mini gun. It feels uh, like you've got a quality tool in your hand. Uh, it's not the cheapest one on the market. It's about up up there with the quality guns, you know, it's around the same price as the Devilbus and the Sata Jet, so uh, around the 400 Australian dollars mark. Uh, that's obviously going to vary where you get them and with your exchange rates. But I'm actually using that SRI Pro Lite now for my uh, fade out thinner, and it's really absolutely killing it. I even said to the um, the foreman the other day that even just using that SRI Pro Lite really makes those uh, blends a lot easier and a lot, half the time you do like a little fade out, it doesn't even need a polish or if anything just a very light hand polish and it's all good. So this is really just a bit of a short review, I'm going to be uh, taking my time when I do the top 10 minigun review, I'm gonna, it might even be 2 or 3 months but I really want to put those uh, mini guns through their paces. I want to find out their strong points. I want to find out their weak points also before I go and rush into a review give a gun a number one position, then find out a couple of months later the pot cracks on me and it's poorly built or whatever it may be. But for me, this is really where the LPH-80 shines. It's absolutely tiny little spot repairs like this. Now don't forget, I've got the 1.2. If you wanted to go any smaller like the 0.8, it would be absolutely amazing for little spot repairs like this. You'd have minimal overspray and minimal material on there, which is exactly what you want on something like 
like this. So as you probably notice, this is actually the same car. This is the same car as I did that rear bumper spot repair. What ended up happening is the owner was supposedly in the office at this time. And then the one of the apprentices this time ended up uh, trying to glue one of the moldings on. And he goes, oh man, I've gone and got two pack glue on the bumper bar and you see it so you know gunny to the rescue another little 15 minute smart repair no time for wearing a pair of gloves when the customers are in the office get the lph 80 out do a quick little spot repair little mask up heat gun on it for five minutes out the door so the first time i painted this car i originally just painted the right hand front fender and i painted the right hand front door and also this front bumper bar and i ended up actually using the sata mini jet 4400 rp it went quite well considering it was a large area and it was a warmer day so i do have footage of that i might even just upload that to my raw channel but as i say i'm really putting these mini guns through their paces i'm using them absolutely every opportunity i get and it seems that this shop we do seem to do a lot more spot repairs than some other places i actually quite enjoy doing these kind of spot repairs i said as a little bit of a challenge i think i'm pretty good at them and i've had a lot of practice at them so yeah i, th I think these mini guns are in good hands and they definitely will be used quite a lot now at the end of this there will be three or four mini guns given away i'll be including the details on how to win that competition when i do upload the top 10 mini gun review so i've actually just celebrated my third anniversary as a youtuber 6th of february 2014 was when i first uploaded a video and created the name the gunman so it's been quite a good three years I've uploaded 400 videos onto my main channel. This is my 401st video. So I'd just like to say a big thanks to everyone for making this channel what it is. Now be sure to go over and check out my website. I've been spending a lot of time over there upgrading it. There's gonna be a couple of links here at the end. And yeah, I've upgraded the comment section on all my blog posts and also upgraded the store. So I've got heaps of t-shirts, I've got some stubby collars. So check it out, let us know what you guys think. Now you see this video, get out there and paint some shit. Thanks for watching and this has been another Gunman Production. Goodbye.